Hello everyone. I am Rohit Reddy from Section C, CSC Section C. I am going to present the PPT on project that is Brightfire Prediction Web Application Deployment. The domain is machine learning. The main aim of this project is to predict current flight fare for any journey using machine learning techniques and deploying the web application. The motivation of this project is we often heard travelers saying flight tickets are often very unpredictable and are very hard to guess. It. If once might see a price today and checks the same flight price tomorrow, it's a whole different story by then. <clears throat> Next, dynamic pricing. The airline goals are increasing the profit by selling at a higher price and selling as many tickets as possible. But the customer goals are buy ticket at the lower price and when the when the best time to buy a ticket? What is the minimum price of the ticket? The solution is what I will do. What I will do is by building a machine learning model which will help me in predicting the price of a flight on inputting some of the attributes. Data can be imported from Kaggle.com with price of flight tickets for various airlines between the months of March and June of 2019 and between the various cities. Coming to the introduction, the project aim is to develop an application which can predict the flight price of various flights using different machine learning techniques. The parameters on which fares are calculated are airline, date of journey, source, destination, departure time, duration, total stops, and weekend. This is the proposed framework. In this framework, we can see we can import the libraries. Next, we can import the data set in Kaggle. Next stage is data preprocessing. And we can do future extraction, future selection, prediction model, and we can exposing the web app by using Flask. And then last, we can deploy the web app. Coming to the timeline of the project, that is, in detail, we can import the libraries, import in data sets, and next is the data preprocessing. In data preprocessing, we can club training data and testing data. Next stage is data analysis. In this data analysis, we can find out value counts and different relations. Up next is future extraction. In future extraction, we can do various operations on data. Future selection. In future selection, we can do some relations and we can deploy a heat map. The next stage is the model building for using ML algorithms to create a model. Up next is Python pickle model. In this stage, the data can be stored in a binary mode in .pkl form, that is in .pkl file. The next one is web application model. This stage is to create with the help of flash tools and futures. Next stage is we can find the predicted price which can show us the output of this model.
not what next is the what are the technologies which can be used the technologies are windows os python collab a collab is for the coding machine learning codings and visual studio for web creation model for creating a web app and libraries which are imported in python that are that pandas numpy matplotlib cbon label encoder lasso select from model extra tree regressor random forest regressor randomized search cv pickle library and last is the flask flask is for web exposing the web app next is the python pickle module in this python pickle module as we can see in the image the python objects which are stored into the binary form the file extension dot pkl is used to store a serializable objects in python the wb mode is used to write the binary data into the file the rb mode is used to read the file in binary format next to this is the flowchart of this web application in this flowchart how this web app works that is filling all the details next we can fill all the details before clicking the bit prediction if the details is filled correctly we can click the predicted button next we can show the predicted price display that is the output of this print of this model if the details were filled incorrectly or not filled properly then you can select from drop down menu and it is very mandatory to fill the details then you can predict it you can predict it by using clicking the button and then predicted price should be visible and that's it next is the this is how the web app works in this web app user wants to request some features in the html web page in this web page it goes into ml model and you can calculate it and import it into the ml model.pkl file and then gives a response to the web page the web page as a predicted label next is see this is the web application predicted model in this model deployment is the last stage of flight fair prediction machine learning project by using flask to make a html file for flight fair prediction this will take an input value for each feature and calculate a price for a flight as shown in an image below next is the this is going to be a final predicted price that we can select the date of departure by selecting this calendar calendar icon by selecting some date and time even the same as the date of the arrival also by selecting any date and time and next is the traveling from source by selecting the drop down menu and next is the traveling to destination by selecting drop down menu also you can select any state next is the number of stops you can select to, you can in drop down menu and next is the preferred airline you can select in drop down menu and last this is the predicted price we can click this button as you can see in downwards this output will be displayed here this uh, this is 6484.31 your fair price this is the fair price so thank you thank you so much